stand in the corner light. I'll go first since we're in my corner here. Yeah, there you go. Well, I'm Michael James, and in uh, the summer of 1962, I had the wonderful opportunity to drive a 56 Triumph Thunderbird yeah. from Chicago to Mexico City. It took me four days, and um, I went to school in Mexico City, and uh, I had a camera. I think it was a Pentax. I shot about five or maybe six rolls of uh, Plus X and Tri X, 36 pictures in each roll. And uh, I had only printed two pictures. I, picked, I printed a picture of uh, an old beggar, uh, which is not here. There's about 80 that I've shown at different times. Uh, and then I printed a picture of Kennedy. And this, this one over here, uh, the, um, actually, just so I, in this sequence, Kennedy is with Lopez Mateos, the president of Mexico. This motorcycle has just clipped a guy who ran out from the crowd. You can see all the suits in the Cadillac looking back at the, that. And I literally cocked the camera and shot again when Kennedy and Mateos went by. And I call it JFK in Mexico, fading away, JFK in Mexico, 62. It was a year before he was killed. Uh, I gave the, the <clears throat> negatives to my son, who was working at a lab downtown. And he, uh, uh, he came, I said, print a picture of Kennedy. And look, I just wanted to have one because I didn't have it anymore and he came back and said I think you have a show and so I would come home at night with the prints uh, leave them for my wife Paige who's here uh, to take a peek at in the morning it was pretty exciting we had a show of about 56 pictures at the Heartland Cafe in 98 um, I had it a few other places Dittmer Gallery and number, about three or four other smaller versions I got a couple of great quotes from the, the great leftist writer uh, John Ross, who passed away last year, and from Art Shea, who did a, the uh, Nelson Algren books. And uh, he went and saw this show when it was downtown at a, a gallery, and he gave me a lot of praise. Uh, so I was really honored that Lewis and the rest of the folks here asked me to put my stuff up. Um, I hope to work with these a lot more. I actually wrote a long piece that appeared in the Heartland Journal that goes with these, and I'm reworking it, and one of my sons is uh, says he's putting it together in a book at his 
in his art department at his company. So we'll see if I get to publish that. Uh, I have a lot of uh, pictures still to come from lots of different events, and I hope that Lewis and everyone will invite me back. Peter? Well, you know, you try and draw connections from one place to the, to the next, and, and uh, I lived, actually the Heartland Cafe was my second home, particularly the bar in the Heartland Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the Buffalo, Buffalo Bar. bar. <laughs> the Buffalo, Buffalo Bar Lane was Red Star really Warm Heart often Buffalo my bar. first home. <laughs> Because they had to shovel me out of there. <laughs> I I do want you back from, from uh, 1990 to 1997, and uh, so this is this is how I got to know Michael James, I, the, and there are several other connections, Columbia College, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But so that is only an introduction to say hi, how are you? Um, I'm here. I've got a series of photographs on the wall. Uh, they are. Uh, by and large, uh, fairly recent work, uh, and recent as in a few weeks ago to uh, a few years ago. Um, I, uh, e back in the, d even in my days of, of uh, imbibing a lot, um, I was a constant experimenter and that has not stopped. I continue to work with uh, infrared and with Polaroid films and with all kinds of other materials. Uh, and the work that's hanging on the wall here is the most recent Polaroid. I interrupt myself a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Polaroid, Polaroid as a corporation went bankrupt uh, about six years ago. The employees in, in part of the Dutch firm bought the equipment and are now making Polaroid film again. And they are offering it uh, via the mail and email on the internet and I bought a whole bunch and I continue to play with it and work with it and it's, it's a very interesting medium and that is uh, by and large what's hanging on the wall here. So uh, I'm absolutely delighted that, that Lewis and everybody else here at the gallery invited me and uh, so thank you all for coming and uh, enjoy another drink and, and enjoy the pictures. Thank you. Uh, I'll start off by saying Peter was one of my teachers at Columbia College. <laughs> <laughs> this is an accidental connection. This is an accidental connection. But uh, otherwise, uh, <laughs> that's my photography down over there to the left. And mostly I find things in nature. I find like different patterns in nature and, and things that are hidden in, in other things. And I like to just mostly shoot things outdoors and and I'm just into finding stuff in water or finding stuff in trees or wood or and I I pretty much do that and then and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you. Uh, we also we have another artist here that just walked in, Mark. Uh, he's the sculptor. Uh, he does the marble work over in the corner. We just, uh, we just, uh, uh, he just removed one of his pieces that were here for a couple of months, which was a large tree, a uh, seven-foot tree. And uh, Mark, would you like to say a few words about your work? Yes. First of all, nice to see you. I can to see you a lot. People who love art as we are, as me, I'm carving in the marble through the Poland, Italy, Australia, and America. In this every country, I have had quite nice successes. I love marble, like Greek, like Michelangelo. And that is my result, one of less, uh, my carving in the marble pieces. It is so very lovely material. I'm not surprised. It's Michelangelo and Greek and other, of course, artists see something unusual in the mouth. They say me. Of course, I'm dreaming carving in big pieces, but it's too expensive. Hard to find piece in the packet would look like that, 40,000 or 60,000. <laughs> and carving stage. But I'm still, I'm sure one time, I will be in Italy and I will carve it in the same place with my master, Michelangelo, and some other Italian artists. 
then I wish you dream next big. time and see what I'm doing. Dream big, yes. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> always, always dream, try to do it like that. At least, for example, I never will be cosmonaut. <laughs> I was from childhood <laughs> drawing pretty good. I have a pretty good uh, I'm drawing and going you know, year by year. <laughs> yes, thank you. I enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy yourself, <laughs> <folks>. <laughs>